Hello and welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. On this video I'll be showing you what I call my salad bar. And um, I, I'll bring you to a closer look. I've said it s several times that sometimes if you, you're not in a hurry to dig up certain areas and you knew you grew things in it, a lot of things receive themselves and this is the video to show you on that. That besides the flowers there uh, that are homegrown most of them, um, that, the ones down here, I will show you what's growing in here, and then I move them around, so come on. I'm bringing you in a little closer to show you this thing, so if you're not in a hurry to redig your area where you know you grew things in, you'll start recognizing when they're really small that they receded themselves, like lettuce. So if you look, I'm going to show you closer what I do, but I pulled those out. Those were um, the three in the back where the two gnomes are. Those are marigolds, and they were little baby ones, and I can recognize the marigolds when they're small. So I put them in planters. So now I've gained four different marigolds for free because technically they were receded from last year. And the same with the lettuce. If I bring you in closer, I had a uh, little gem lettuce that was receded from two years ago that come, keep coming back. And I have romaine lettuce and I have a, um, a Simpsons seeded lettuce in here. Plus there was radishes. I was trying to see if radish would grow better because this is um, a cooler area it gets indirect lighting it gets the morning sun but then later on it's kind of cool so I noticed that it, I can show you now that the radishes are growing really good in this area I have some growing into other containers besides this section and I'll show you that but um they're doing really well and when they come in I just start separating them and I'm going to bring you over here the close. If you look, these will bunch in certain areas like this right here. And all I did was I come in and I start thinning them out. And I actually don't kill the plant off unless I have no choice and then I'll put them in the compost pile. But let's see if you can see it. I'm going to put it over here and I dig a hole and I put them and I separate all the plants. Um, what I do, I thin it out. So now I have three different lettuces again growing and none of them were plants that I grew and put in here. These are all receded from last year. So it's kind of, I've said it over and over, check your containers before you sit there and dump the soil because you can actually put things and enrich the soil. Keep the same soil and you'll, if you're not in a hurry, you'll see things recede and come back. So look at, this is stuff that's been receded. If I bring you down here, I'll show you. These were radishes seeds that I let go to seed and I uh, collected the seeds but some will fill in here so you can see on a closer view oops let's bring you in closer sorry it always squeaks <laughs> but this if you can see it's starting to have a radish this is the first time that I've had radishes I've had issues with this and now I can prove that if you grow it within the south side of your house where you get the morning sun and then it comes down and it cools off and the you know it's not as high it's not it's like indirect lighting now so that's what it showed me so you can see uh, um, right here look at how it's growing this was all bushed together and I separated them and I thinned it out I put them back into the soil and now look at how my lettuce is doing and uh, I think it's pretty incredible what happens so it, I, you kind of thin it out this was thick in the center and I started thinning it out and like I said I put the, I don't waste any of it I'll put it in the compost after and right here this is pretty thick so I'll start gradually moving things over so they can spread and this whole thing was a little clumpy in certain areas it had nothing other areas and I just moved them around and they work fine the little plants are quite happy wait till they're big enough and then move them around and like I said you could save some money here because now none of this lettuce I have three different types of lettuce here and I did all of this between two years Ooh. thank you for watching this video have a great day and I'll see you on the next video bye for now